Okay, welcome back. Part two of video. Uh, basically, where we left off, I was in the Lake of Rot. I was down 50,000 souls. That's enough to level up. I'm trying to gather them back. Unfortunately, I am out of neutralizing boluses that neutralize the rot effect. Which means... I'll never make it across. I need cave moss and sacramental bud. So I have to farm some of that before I can move forward, which really sucks because I really want to get these bad boys back. I really should have found the state of grace before I tried to take that guy out. But again, don't always make the best decisions, do we? So, a couple of places you can farm the moss if you need to. Um, the coastal cave is an easy cave, and it's got quite a bit. Basically, you can just run through that and just maul whatever's in your way. So, that's what we're going to do. If I get three of those, that'll give me three more bolluses. That may be enough to make it through. So, cave moss. I also need sac uh, sacramental buds. Every so often, if I hit the triangle button too much, my guy cheers. He's a little full of himself. <laughs> I just want the moss. I don't need to kill you guys. You don't have to mess with me. Not in your best interest. Stay the course. Stay the course. La, la, la. <laughs> All right. So I think I picked up three. rest run through grab some more Whee. I think we'll probably need like six or seven of the bolluses to make the balls I need to make it through. So. I know. We'll do one more run after this one. Oh. But he feels special, doesn't he? One more run. And then I also need to grab some of the buds, like I said. I know a... Pretty sure I know a place to grab some of those. And then we will go get our souls.
Na 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 na. Is that okay? Let's see if I can remember where. It'd be really cool if there were some more in here. That would be awesome. Alrighty. So the buds. The buds are right here. So let's go get them guys. That archer right there is probably gonna shoot at me. That's okay. He's not that good a shot. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to die. So, you can see, the problem with playing a glass cannon is you can get in trouble very quickly if you're not, if you're being stupid, like I was, you can die. You're going to die, boy. You're going to die. That's okay. Here we are. This is a nice little glade with things I'm looking for. Or maybe not. Well, apparently they don't grow back as fast as I thought, and I've come here recently to get some, so um, if you know of any other farming locations, leave in the comments. Somebody might uh, be looking to farm them like I was. All right, how many can I craft? None, because I need crystal cave moss, crystal cave moss. So I just farmed the wrong 
moss. Need crystal cave moss. So. Crystal moss is located in Stillwater Cave, the Academy Crystal Cave. So, Academy Crystal Cave. I've cleared that already. It should be a fairly uh, easy place to farm it. Budding cave moss. This is the way out. All right. This place is definitely a little more dangerous than the last place I was at. rats, but up ahead there's magic users. So, got three so far. I want to say there's five or six in this cave, but I don't remember exactly. Alright, I can make four. Gives me six total. Hmm. All right. This is it. This run right here. If I don't do it on this one, then I'll probably be the end of it. I just want to get them and level up, and then I'll come and explore some of the other areas over there where I'm not really, I don't really care if I die. Problem is dying when you have a, <laughs> a substantial amount of stuff. So we're gonna be a little more careful. Watch the basilisks, because they're buttholes. Alright. Ooh hoo hoo. That was a close one. Now we know when we make it the run for that one that we're going to get attacked. These apparently are supposed to help. Let's see.
I don't think that helped at all. Route up is over there. All right. What puts me closer? This? Is this a straight shot here? This is where the path up is. I head straight for it. Saving my staunching boluses. Might actually be able to make a second run at it if I mess up. I might not even fight the dude. I might just take the souls and run. That way if I come back and do it again, I'm not losing as much. So. We got him ready. Here we go. Come on. Come on, come on, get on, get up, get up. That was me almost getting killed because of stupidity. All right. All right, and there's my souls. whale. Isn't that cute? Anything else up here worth getting? Smithing stone. Yes, we like smithing stones, don't we? Yeah, no item ahead.
The real question is, is how do you get back down other than the ladder? And if I take the ladder, yes. How do you get from there to... There's a ledge. You can walk around the ledge, I bet. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look. See there, shall we? We got a little ledgy ledge. Yes, we do. So... If you don't know, if you want to test to see if you can drop down on something, I'm sure you know this one, but we use rainbow stone. Wee! We're good. Well, I guess this would have been the way to go instead of using all those frickin' staunching bullets, wouldn't it have? But you live and you learn. And then, you choose love. Or so the commercial says. Uh-huh. All right. Lord Sword. Level up. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, that was... That was a hell of a show right there. Probably boring to watch, but... That's called being careful, which is something you sometimes just have to do. You have to be really, really, really careful. So, instead of moving forward, we have this, the grace so we know we can get through it if we need to. We're going to... We're gonna go visit Queen Renala and open her chest. If you remember in the last video, I received a key for killing the assassin. It opens this chest. And gives us the Dark Moon Ring. I don't know what that is. All right. Hmm. All right. All righty. There are some other things that I got that I can... use. There's a tower. 
And honestly, I'm not sure if I've been there yet. It's a key that I received. Let's have a looky here. Carry and study hall. So, I have to find the carry and study hall. But let's see what other loot we got out of that. We got a sword. The Alabaster Lord Sword. I have the stats to wield it. It uses uh, gravity as its little setup thing. That's probably not as good as my Moon Bell. Need to level my Moon Bell up a little bit more and my Scepter. Also, oh crap, what did I just do? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. All right, thought I made a mistake there for a second. So, I'm trying to get my intelligence up high enough to use the uh, full moon magic, which is... I think I've already unlocked it. I just haven't set it to a slot yet. So. Manalis Full Moon. I don't rightly know what it does, but it's supposed to be really powerful, and this particular wand actually uh, strengthens it. So, hopefully, it's a devastating attack. Probably takes a really long time to use. I don't know. We'll find out. Let's see if I can upgrade wow. any of my Watch weapons. Your arms. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, right. Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Don't got any of those, do we? Greetings, are you here for oh, I am here for spirit tuning. Bam. This is my dude. Alright. So, we need to make it to the Carrion Study Hall. Um, I feel like I've been there before, but... Maybe I haven't.
It's supposed to be in the Lake of Lien uh, area. Probably here. It's part of the map I haven't checked out yet. So let's give it a go. <sighs> So let's just set a marker here. We know which way we're going. It's this way. So. Oh, that damaged me a little bit. Ooh, that damaged me a little bit too. But we heading the right way now. All right. New side of grace. Probably a shopkeeper or something over here I haven't met up with yet. Got some marionette archers up there. Let's see what this looks like. That is a slow moving projectile. <laughs> I just saw ice forming on the ground. Oh well. got to be careful. Make stupid mistakes like that. I lost my rune arc. I no longer have enough intelligence to cast the moon spell. That sucks. All right.
So apparently I have uh, gotten a little cocky <laughs> and uh, well going to have to change up our tactics here. That's all right. Y'all like ambushing me? <laughs> well, you can play at that game. Um, yeah, pretty much back up to where we uh, left off. And this guy right here? We go here. Storm off feathers, eh? Uh, guard duty sucks. I feel like it's odd there's this whole section of this map that I just completely bypassed for no apparent reason whatsoever. those trees somewhere gives me like uh, the ability to use health potions a little bit more so this is how I was supposed to get up here it's a little shortcut I guess This dude right here is going to lead me to a cave. I love caves. Let's go mess up a cave.
Alright, where's that cave, buddy old pal, old buddy old pal? I'm gonna get ambushed by wolves or something here in a second. Yeah, imps. There it is. Guess the imps gave up on me. Cliff bottom catacombs. All right, folks. I have not come through a catacomb since uh, I've gotten this new weapon and souped up my uh, wand. here, collect some grave warts. A lot of times you can move on in the stage by dropping down this passageway. It's always good to check. If somebody sends you a message saying go down there, don't believe them, always, ah, stupid. Let's try that again. Yeah, that'll kill you. Kind of watch out for traps. Guys hanging out on the ceiling. Guys hanging out around the corner. Try to sneak attack you. There's buttons on the floor that'll activate booby traps that'll kill you. There's all sorts of fun things in these little catacombs, though. Normally supplies that allow you to do things. Hidden packages in the wall sometimes. You'll have to attack the wall to find them. All right. Sometimes you're just running around banging your sword for nothing, though, so... You know. Root resin. So, there's a switch somewhere in here that'll allow me to open this door, and behind that door is a little mini boss. Those are normally pretty easy because you can just uh, summon your defense guy, which uh, I haven't got a chance to show you all my defense guy yet, or at least. Uh, not one of these longer narrated videos. And surprise attack. There's somebody on the ceiling. Somebody standing to the left or right. That's not to the right. There he is. He should have been wary of my surprise attack. that statue does. Always wary of statues anywhere. Alright, so somewhere up ahead there's a message that's telling you to do something stupid.
looks like there's something to do down there. I don't know if there's a staircase or if you're supposed to jump down. just that one dude. Alright, so we came down the stairs. There's there. Ah, crap. You can use the traps against them. A lot of times the traps are useful for that. I've used traps to my, uh, woo! Like, here we go. That little bastard got what he deserved. Oh, fog door. Pretty sure I have a key to. I feel like there's a hidden passage somewhere down here. That dude kicked me. I cut that close. Like I said, sometimes uh, I do stupid things, make bad decisions, cost you everything. Gotta play safe. This game punishes mistakes. Except for the rune arc I lost earlier. A lot of times if you see like a bookshelf against the wall that has no books on it, that means there's a secret passage behind it. Not always. I have a stone sword key, so let's use it. This one only costs one. You see the statue already has one in it. Sometimes it'll cost two to get through it. All right. Make sure you dispel the message before you go through. Probably a cool helmet for somebody who's not me. I'm pretty much wearing the helmet I will wear to the end of the game, I think, at this point. Because this bad boy gives you health, I mean intelligence. That does nothing. <laughs> All right. But still, I like to unlock everything if I can. There's a dude right there. He's the only one. There's a trap right here. It would have shot. 
all sorts of things out of those holes. Ah, crap. Ooh, that startled me a little bit. Oh, and he got me, too. That was... So, check your corners. <laughs> Clear the room. That right there was, uh, that was a pretty big loss there. I rarely make it all the way through a dungeon on the first go anyway, not gonna lie. really stinking it up right now. Really, really stinking it up. Almost back to where we died.
I was going to try to uh, stealth hit that guy. <laughs> As you can see, that didn't work. Almost got killed by this dude up here. Very annoying. And his little buddy. Alright. Almost there. That's the one I didn't see. be really fun to play with if you were doing a melee build. Um, my next playthrough will probably be a melee build. Nadine designed me a character uh, but I think I'm going to play as a melee character so either I'll get tired of playing this character or I'll reach a point where I realize I'm not capable of winning with this character. Where did that guy come from? I don't know. Somewhere along the lines, I missed a side path. Not sure where it was. 